What is the Ethereum merge and how could it make crypto greener? Ethereum is preparing for an upgrade that's been described as, quote, the single most important event in crypto history, end quote. And I do agree with that. It will be the single most important because depending on how well it functions, if it's successful at all, and what happens, it will determine some turning point within the crypto industry. That will be true. The transition would overhaul the infrastructure of the world's second largest blockchain. Analysts predict the changes could cut the network's energy cost by 99% and push the price of Ether, uh, but the plans have been beset by delays. Here's everything you need to know about the long-awaited merge. What is it? The merge aims to make the Ethereum blockchain more efficient by switching from proof-of-work mechanism to a proof-of-stake system. Proof-of-work, which was pioneered by Bitcoin, is secured by crypto miners solving complex but pointless mathematical puzzles, a process that consumes a vast amount of energy. A proof-of-stake system, meanwhile, is maintained by users staking crypto to process transactions. This is a heavily biased article, by the way, uh, so far. Ethereum currently runs both mechanisms. The merge will, I could rewrite this system, I could rewrite this sentence in a different manner. They would put it more on par with the favoritism they show towards it when they say something like adding pointless mathematical puzzles because proof of work is not pointless. Proof of work is what is basically adding value to the currency and adding a process that consumes a vast amount of energy. I could also go into proof of stake and say that it is powered by pointless mathematical puzzles based on the amount of money you have staked into the currency and wastes a ton of energy due to the amount of backup systems and data centers waiting for the virtual machine to fail over. Ethereum currently runs both mechanisms. The merge will combine the two layers into a single proof of stake based chain. Not really how this is going to work, by the way. You have your consensus layer and you have your uh, execution layer. They need to move the execution layer, which is currently proof of work over and join it, sort of join it, uh, but it will still run as separate chains within the system, right? You basically have two different layers there. All the Ether cryptocurrency on the network will be unaffected by the switch. What are the pros and cons of the merge? Proof of stake proponents expect the merge to make Ethereum more scalable, secure, and sustainable. The switch would make blockchain miners obsolete and slash the emissions of the numerous projects, including many NFT platforms that run on the Ethereum infrastructure. Carl, a researcher at the Ethereum Foundation, estimates that the transaction or transition, excuse me, will reduce the network's energy consumption by 99.95%. That could also convince more people to invest in Ethereum. However, not everyone is convinced of the benefits. Critics have raised concerns about the security risks and doubts about the impact on Ethereum scalability. It would be amiss to also point out that essentially they do not have a withdrawal function from staking really uh, right now post-merge. That will come later. So you won't be able to get your staked ETH out as far as I understand right now. Um, yeah, perhaps the biggest issue is the merge merges endless post postponements. When is the merge happening? The merge was first proposed in 2016, but the transition has proven more complex than expected. In March, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin defended delays, saying switching to a simpler proof of stake in 2017 or even 2020 could have led to much less environmental damage and a lot more research uh, and anti-crypto men mentality as a result of environmental damage and a lot more research talent being free to think about scaling. Here's the other thing though, it is a simpler version than what was originally announced because what was originally announced was basically going to be something called ETH 2.0. It was going to be able to merge the actual chains. You wouldn't have a separate execution chain and a separate consensus layer, and you would have multiple shards. All of this stuff, all of the stuff that was more difficult is still delayed indefinitely. The only thing happening is the consensus mechanism change, really, at this point. 
He added that the switch would finally happen very soon. Researchers expected this to happen in June, but insiders this month warned of further delays. Tim Biko, by the way, we already covered this. Ethereum Foundation developer Tim Biko tweeted April 12th that the merge won't be in June, but likely in a few months after. Quote, there's a lot of skepticism because Ethereum has promised proof of stake for five years, he said. It's hard to convince people that it, this time it's for real. Nonetheless, he promised that the merge was nearing the end of its final chapter. Supporters of Ethereum will hope that he's correct because the network's competition is heating up. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.